out there. They'll need the rain gear this morning. We got some rain showers advancing across the area. Uh, a little bit of a breeze, but these winds are going to be pretty impressive today. Some pretty gusty wind expected, but uh, kids will be out there this morning. Pretty mild start, 58 to about 62. And of course, the morning hours are going to be the mildest point of the day, part of the day as uh, this cold front moves through, we'll see temperatures starting to fall, especially as we go through the afternoon. Uh, again, Charlottesville, good morning. You're 60 right now, 55 in uh, Waynesboro. Harrisonburg's 59, uh, currently 60 in Louisa. So again, nice mild start to our day. We hit 63 here in town yesterday, uh, well above that average of 49. We're trending about six degrees warmer in and around the Charlottesville area. However, you look to the west and you can see some of the colder temperatures. Uh, they're already uh, 21 degrees colder in Lexington, Kentucky. Chicago's 11 degrees colder. St. Louis about 10 degrees colder. And we'll start to really feel that tonight as we expect to see temperatures dip down into the 20s. Right now, we've got a light southwesterly wind, but as a cold front moves through, we'll see our winds shifting to the northwest today. Now, we're going to be dealing with sustained winds today, uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour, and then we're expected to see some gusts, you know, around 30, 35 mile an hour wind gusts, especially as you get into those higher elevations. So keep that in mind if you're coming across uh, Afton Mountain. Here's a live look at Doppler radar, doing a great job picking up some of the rain. We had a few showers yesterday, but this is the main body of rain that we're going to be tracking for the morning hours. And of course, this will be with us for the morning commute. So if you can give yourself some extra time, certainly take it slow and easy out. As I mentioned, this is a fast moving system. We're not anticipating any severe weather, but we'll have some decent rain from this system as it continues to move east. Uh, by the afternoon, the front will be off to our east and we should start to see skies clearing out. And that's when those winds really start to pick up. And as skies remain clear tonight, that cold air will start to settle in. Kind of that quick shot of cold air because as we look ahead to the weekend, we'll gradually start to warm up. We can still pick up an additional half inch to about an inch of rain as we go through the morning hours. And then it looks like just in time for the long holiday weekend, we start to dry out pretty nicely. Saturday, Sunday, Monday to look great. Uh, as we look ahead to Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll be tracking another cold front, maybe a few showers later in the day Tuesday, but the front will stall and waves of energy will ride along it. So it looks like Wednesday and Thursday will have additional chances for a few scattered rain showers in our forecast. Again, it'll still be warm enough primarily for rain. So early rain today we will clear out by this afternoon. Turn windy 59 for the valley, about 63 for Central Virginia. We'll have pretty steady winds out of the southwest 10 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts. And then for tonight, we've got a cuddle alert. Get, get a warm blanket. Find somebody to share it with. Temperatures are going to drop like a rock. Clear sky, breezy and cold, uh, 23 to 27. Expected to be our overnight low. Northwesterlies at 10 to 20. And then for your day tomorrow, cold start in the morning, but actually a near seasonal temperatures. Uh, mostly sunny, cooler day, 48 for the valley and about 52 for Central Virginia. Here's your seven day forecast. Looking pretty good for Sunday, partly sunny, 59. President's Day is Monday. We'll see sunshine in 62. A few showers will be possible Tuesday. We'll get up to 60. Scattered.